It amazes me that insects that weigh half a gram can live so long and travel so far. Up to two billion monarch butterflies migrate every year to winter in Mexico. That's where ecologist Sonia Altizer goes to get a good look at them. Male, 51.55. With support from the National Science Foundation, Altizer and her team study how long-distance migration in flying animals affects the spread and evolution of infectious disease. In monarchs, they study a parasite. So adult butterflies that are really heavily infected will look like this one. This is a protozoan parasite called Ophryocystis electroscira, OE for short. This flying treadmill in her lab at the University of Georgia tracks speed and stamina. On average, infected monarchs fly about 20% less well than healthy butterflies. We all know human diseases can spread quickly. It only takes one infected person hopping on an airplane. But for insects and birds, long distance travel often means lower infection rates. Perhaps only the strong survive? If we had to run a marathon with the flu, we probably wouldn't do very well. The animals that are the most heavily infected simply drop out of this migration en route to their wintering sites and they simply can't make the long distance journey. But human activities like habitat destruction and herbicide use are disrupting some of these long-standing migration patterns. If we take the migration away and we're left with smaller remnant populations that don't migrate, we could actually see infections build up in those populations and that could possibly increase the risk of pathogens jumping over into people and their domesticated animals. In Peru, Altizer's team studies vampire bats. Their populations have exploded as ranchers have introduced livestock into the Andes and the Amazon. And more bloodthirsty bats might mean more rabies. One of the main goals we have is to try to understand what determines the frequency and intensity of rabies outbreaks. Uh, and what can we do about it? Altizer also analyzes data and parasite samples sent in from citizen scientists around the world. Her aim is to piece together the big picture of how pathogens spread when their hosts take wing. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.